Hello there, my name is Jordan Leroy Hansen, also known as The Dev, and welcome to uh, kind of like a live vlog thing that I'm going to do to just uh, update people on current stuff and such. I probably might give it a nickname, like call it the Top Deck or some shit like that. Mostly this is just getting, pretty much updating how the video series are doing that I'm working on, as well as just sh telling people what I'm going to be working on and such. Nevertheless, let's just get started. First things first. I hope everybody's doing all right with the whole pandemic situations. It's kind of scary. I'm going to admit that. It even kind of scares me a little bit because I'm the one that has to go out and help people out with, you know, help my family out, get groceries, all that stuff, deliver stuff to other relatives and such. And it is kind of scary being out there and such, especially since, well, yeah, you don't really know what's going to happen, all things considered. But still, I'm trying to keep myself, trying to keep myself hygienically fit as possible, trying to make sure I use hand sanitizer when I go out and such. So I hope everybody's doing all right with that. I know it's stressing a lot of people, but for the people who are just, I'm going to deliver it to two people. One is for the people who are not like content creators and such, like generally audience and such. The best thing I would say do this is just follow whatever your local health council is recommending and such. Stay inside, wash hands, etc. As well as just try to connect to people. And I don't mean like connect to like physically. Try to connect to socially to a lot of people. We have technology today like with the internets and all that stuff. I've been trying to keep a lot with chats with local friends and relatives and such to try to keep my sanity because I am a person that likes to be social. And I will admit it is kind of really tricky to be social to people, especially when you're stuck in the house. It's a little annoying. I'm going to admit that. So I would say use video chatting software, use Discord, Skype, whatever your suits your fancy, and try to just keep your sanity. Other than that, try to catch up with stuff that you may want to catch up with. Maybe play a game, read a book, something that will calm you down, essentially. Because it is kind of one of those scenes where I do think we really need to have the circumstances, be able to take a deep breath, and just chill. Because it is kind of one of those where, for a person with me who has anxiety and such, this has been a very, very anxious time. So I've been trying to do a lot of stuff to try to keep myself calm and such. So that's just one thing I'm going to say right off the bat. Then the second part is to the people who are content creators and such that do YouTube and all that stuff, as well as the in Magic Gathering content creators. I'm going to say the best advice is, I know a lot of people have been, like, disappointed with themselves because they feel like they have not, like, did a lot of content and such, and they feel like they need to up their content a little bit more with the pandemic and such. And the thing I'm just going to say to those people, just take a deep breath. I know it feels very stressful because you feel like you need to do more and such, especially with the current circumstances and such, but... Honestly, you don't really have to make more content. You should just work on content at your own pace. Some people do it because they love it. Some people will have to do it because it's their financial necessities. But try to work at your own pace and don't feel like you have to make more because, oh, hey, you have a lot of free time. To be fair, a lot of us are going through a buttload of different circumstances regarding to kind of like how we're living our lives through the circumstances like some people are learning how to teach their kids at home some people are learning how to deal with a lot more free time i mean the concept of working at home is a relatively new concept to probably a lot of people so i would say for those content creators just try your best but don't feel like disappointed or sad of yourself if you're like why can't i do more stuff honestly you just need to remember, just do work at stuff at your own pace, adapt to the current circumstances, but still, just remember, it's best to keep your mental health in check and make sure to keep the quality of yourself in line to make sure to keep the quality of your content. That is one thing that everybody should kind of learn, and I'm still kind of learning it as a content creator and such. People more like quality than quantity it is one of those scenes where people will go out and just be like oh i need to make more stuff or there's a lot of stuff i want to get all this stuff and such but honestly 
if you work on more of your quality of your content a lot better and try to improve the quality rather than just feel like you have to make more, I feel like you're going to feel a lot more self... What's the word? You're going to have a lot more fulfillment with what you're working on and such. So don't feel like you have to make like two episodes each week or some shtick like that. Like if you're usually just making an episode each month or such, just do that and then maybe just work on a little thing of... Oh, maybe I can better the audio on my podcast, or maybe I can better my editing techniques and such. Just, like, little improvements here and there. Don't feel like you have to go out and be, like, work on 20 projects and such, because you're going to burn yourself out faster than you can say Tempo 2 on a bike. So, that's my general advice there. And, honestly, just, we'll all can get through this. We'll see what happens. I hope for everybody, for calmness, for good health. And for whatever happens to them, that they're able to endure and survive. Okay, now the grim stuff's out of the way. Let's actually talk about my content stuff that I'm working on. Now, first scene is essentially what I'm going to be doing is one big news that I'm really excited about is I'm actually now part of the Magic the Gathering content creator stream uh, pretty much program, which is awesome. It's essentially a program. I'll provide a link down there. It's through the stream elements and such. So you essentially sign up for this and Magic the Gathering will provide you challenges that you will do through your streams or even through like content you make. And if you can complete those challenges, you win awards that you can award your community and such as well as stuff to help you out with your channel and such. I still am very appreciative that Wizard of the Coast had considered me for the program and actually signed me up into it. I am very honored of that. So I will, I'm still tweaking the schedule a little bit, but so far, at least for this week, it's still going to be the Saturday and Sunday stream. I'm definitely going to work on the challenges there, but I am going to see with next week times that I'm going to try to do some additional streaming. I'll try, I'm adapting because, for example, like I'm recording this really late at night because I have family that I live with and I want to make sure that I don't like wake them up or something like that or use the broadband internet or such just... Because a lot of them are working from home now with their uh, work desktop setups and such. And I don't really want to hog the internet when they have to do like important work and do their jobs. So I hope you can understand that. Nevertheless, though, I am very appreciative. I will provide links within if people are curious how to get into the content creator. If you are a content creator or such. I'm going to provide actually just some information to link down below how you do that. And... Hopefully, if you're interested and want to do some content, well, for Magic the Gathering, there you go. Nevertheless, other thing that's exciting is, of course, as of this recording, either when you got watch this or not, maybe a Korea spoilers have started. We know that the big trailer is coming tomorrow at, at my time, it's 9 o'clock, but the time they post, it's like 7 o'clock PDT or PT. I need to actually look at that real quick and such. Nevertheless, I'm really excited because I am curious to see the trailer quality for this one, but I'm also really excited to see the new cards. I do feel like this set's going to be a fun set. I'm actually really happy because I have a good close friend who is a total kaiju nerd, and it does feel like this set is going to suit to their fancy and such. So I really hope that's the case because it is going to be fun to try to... We are at the last few weeks of a standard, which is... As much as I kind of... As much as people complain about certain aspects of the standard, standard has actually been relatively healthy, to be quite frankly honest. Mostly it's like a combination of five decks, maybe even more or less, depending on who you ask, and they all have a variety, kind of like a lock, paper, scissors relationship to each other. And even then, like on playing arena and such, I am still discovering kind of like new decks that are people are trying out to tweak with the meta and such, and it's quite fascinating. Yes, the most powerful deck currently at the moment debatably is Sultai Ramp or Simic Lamp. That's because Blue Green has been given a lot of good cards. But it will be interesting to see how Akoria supports that archetype if it does, or if they support more other color archetypes and such, or techs, because oh boy, I would really want a tech card against Agent Treachery besides Hutchbreener. But eh, that's my personal self talking. Nevertheless, though, besides that, I'm just mostly excited because I'm just really curious to see the new mechanics in the set. And it feels like this is going to be a really good Timmy set, which I think a lot of people will need regarding to current events. Just a lighthearted set. Just be very silly and enjoy the shenanigans. Besides that, I also celebrated by opening the Mystery Booster Box, which was kind of awesome and such. 
it was a really absurd box. It was like 15 Mythics and a lot of good Commander staples, which I'm very grateful to have in my collection. Besides that, I decided to actually make a deck around it, essentially for a stream event that I'm going to do with Hobbs, as well as some other content creators, where we pretty much grew an EDH deck around the stuff we pulled from the box. My commander currently is Marchesa at the moment, so I don't know when that's going to happen or such, so I can't really give a solid schedule. But I really hope that people will come by and watch that and just see the EDH shenanigans, because... If there is one good thing that, about all this current circumstances is the factor that, thanks to my setup and such, I'm able to play paper EDH a lot more now through kind of like digital and such. And it has been really relaxing to be able to play casual games with people from the Magic community that help just essentially, you know, focus on games and just essentially lose spots with just the chaos that's currently happening at the moment with all that's going on. Besides that... I would say one thing I am going to try to do, I am going to see if I can try to with like make mini videos throughout the week, essentially doing spoiler kind of like reviews and such of cards or such, or just give like my quick two cents. If I don't do it through the videos, I will definitely update through Twitter, kind of like my updates on cards from McCoy and such and from the new Commander product. It would definitely be fun to just do my card analysis, which I'd love to do. See kind of like whether or not if I think cards will be impactful in the meta or not. It's just going to be a fun time. Nevertheless, it's been a pretty interesting month, or past month, depending on who you ask. But I still think we can all do this. I hope you all have a lovely day. This is Lev Dev, signing out.